Our next master taker, William Herbert Hill, a.k.a. the General, had found himself a regular guest of Her Majesty's prisons in Australia. He had an insatiable appetite for the finest suits of the stolen variety. He was, he was the, a turnover man. It was the shirts and the sheets and the golf balls and the, and the, the fashion items and things that, you know, that he continued to hoist consistently. And he was very, very good at it. So it wasn't as glamorous. It didn't get him the, um, the accolades that the, uh, the jewel thieves like Arthur got or, or, or the Fibber, um, but he just worked relentlessly. And, uh, and so he actually amassed some money in the end. Oh, he was, he was well known. Uh, shoplifter. That's the wrong word. Uh, a prolific thief. That's maybe the best. I mean, when you say shoplifter, you think of the old deer going in and taking a bottle of milk and stuff. There was nothing like that. This was planned, organised crime. He was a legend shoplifter, Billy Hill. And, and, and well-liked, but again, a low-profile guy who tried his best to stay under the radar. There was a picture that was, that was actually stolen from his flat by one of the police that I interviewed, and, and there's Billy Hill. The clock on the wall says five past nine, and there's Billy with his, with his bowler hat and the rolled-up newspaper in the impeccable Savile Row suit. He's ready for work. People wanted to work with the general. Um, he wasn't seen in that sort of flamboyant, um, uh, you know, extroverted way that Arthur was, but he was a very, very effective thief. And uh, he was also very good at blending in. He used to like to do his own thing, Bill. He, he was a bit secretive, but he liked to do that anyway. But uh, he was training his own gang. <laughs> One policeman tells a story about um, at the height of the, of the thieving there, they're driving down um, Knightsbridge, and there is Billy Hill in the window of Harrods stripping a shop dummy of clothes. You know, and they, they didn't even bother to stop us at all. We'll get him eventually, but it was just this how brazen it became. He'd have them out working. Like, as soon as the bank's open, half past nine, ten o'clock, he'd have them out. Don't finish till three, that's when the bank's shut then, there's a rule. <laughs>